Go ahead, dip it, hit it. Don't go wrong with that. No. Double scoop. Double scoop. <laughs> it's summertime. Custard. Welcome back to G Living, everyone. I'm Boise Thomas with our green chef, Vanessa. Hello there. And what are we doing today? What, what do we got here? Well, today, a very, very simple dish for greens. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't eat your greens. You don't eat enough greens. So. Now, these are interesting greens. What is this particular green? This is baby bok choy. Baby bok choy. Yep. I want um, my baby bok, baby bok, baby. <laughs> you can also get the mature, the mature bok choy where the stalks are going to be white. That's what you probably mainly find. I don't know. Okay. I find both. It just depends, and you can do it with either either green. But it's like it's like my favorite green. Mm. Um, they're nice and crunchy. They're not as dense as like kale or something. You know, it's a little Good. little lighter, I guess. Yeah. So, I gotta admit, my wife uses this particular green a lot, so yeah. I'm familiar with it. But we want to make sure everybody else is familiar with it. It's high in vitamin A, vitamin C. Um, originally from China. Originally from China, right? So it's <laughs> low in imported, calories. right? Yeah, <laughs> low in calories. That's another good thing. I know those of you that are watching your calorie count. So what do we get? How are we going to prepare well, this, or what's the end product? Gonna yeah, be? usually um, bok choy. I usually do Asian dishes, Asian style, Asian flavorings. Um, it pairs really well with my nori rolls, by the way. So. Mm, she has killer nori rolls, which you'll see on, on many of the different things we've got here. You're going to make those for us later. Uh, I already made yeah. them. But well, I already made them. I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> Email me on the blog. I need to see that. All right, good. So right. what do we do first? We separate so them from... I washed them. Good. They're okay. all clean. They're clean. And then um, we do some chopping here. So I, I chop off the ends. Great. Look at that. Okay. Away it goes. And just really easy. I kind of... About a quarter of an inch thick or something. Okay. You can eat the whole part of the green, the leaves. Wow. So you mince the whole thing down like yeah. that? Yeah. Cut it all up. See? And throw right, it in the good. bowl. Oh, cool. We'll and you're going to do this with all, all, here we've got four, what do they call them, bunches or stalks? That's a good question. Yeah. It's a, it looks like a bunch of stalks to me, really. I really don't have the answer. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you, this is a, a produce you can find in any supermarket, really. Yeah, you yeah? can find it easily. Yeah. Um, it, but you know when you put the dressing on it'll kind of sink down so it, it maybe looks like a lot of food but it's okay. not that much okay not really great great mm, you can just hear it how crunchy it is I'm already like salivating and Get watery too a little good. watery yeah that's good so we'll just chop that up okay. and uh, any chopping tips for people you got any chopping secret chef chopping tips I know a lot of people secret talk about curling okay. their fingers back or you know, here you're just kind of keeping the knife far away from you because you cut yourself. Yeah, I, well, that was with the cleaver, yeah. chopping coconuts. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I do, you keep your fingers away. Always look what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try the Japanese style right. of chopping until you're a little right. more advanced. Yeah, those guys have been chopping for centuries. You don't want to attempt to do that at home. It just takes some practice. That's easy. So the dressing is very simple. Uh, I take about like a tablespoon of cold pressed sesame oil. Okay. It's it's very mild flavored. You could use olive oil if you don't have sesame oil. All right. But I really like to add a little bit of the toasted sesame oil. That's got a lot of that sesame flavor. Mm-hmm. Technically, probably not raw, but that's okay. That's okay. We can <laughs> cheat a couple of things if you're if you're into that. Then some nama shoyu. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this. <laughs> Is that Ooh, what that is? Clever. Nama show you? It's um, it's a raw un oh. unpasteurized okay. soy sauce. Nama show you. Nama show you. Sorry, I heard something totally different. <laughs> Some garlic. Oh, I love garlic. the garlic. Big fan of the garlic. And I'll use sort of the. This is a microplane. Hmm. It's like a zester. Mm, that's great. Use a traditional garlic press too as well? Yep. Good. That's the one I have, the little squishy one. And then a little bit of ginger. All right. Just grate that right in there. Now, if you don't have one of these little thingies, what's the best way to prep your garlic and your ginger? Well, garlic, I usually use a garlic press. Okay. And ginger, you probably just have to mince it fine okay. with a knife. Yep. Yep. And then a little pinch of salt. And I use um, Himalayan crystal salt. Okay. You can get that pretty much anywhere too? It's a little harder to find. Yeah. 
it's and it's a little more expensive but apparently it's from the Himalayas. Yeah. <laughs> in, in crystal form, and it's got all minerals intact. Great. Whereas other traditional salts are more processed. Or yeah, the, they're the more, they're stripped more of a lot of the ingredients. So um, salt's actually good for you in its yeah. full form. Cool. So. And we just kind of whisk that together. Now talk about salt. I know salt has a lot of, a lot of different, um, does a lot of different things in raw cooking. Um, yeah, actually, I mean, salt's a big, flavor component of many dishes, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things to sort of cook, to sort of cook a vegetable or to make them a little softer, because you don't want to always chomp on, you know, hard to chew raw vegetables. Yeah. So we use salt and also lemon or citrus. Okay. And that sort of, that actually cooks, cooks it in a sort of way. Like mm -hmm. if you eat raw fish, in many parts of the world, they have a dish called ceviche. Okay. And they put a lemon and salt on it and that's what cooks it. Oh, cool. Good. Trade your stove in for some salt and lemon. That works. <laughs> Great. So we're going to come back and we're going to apply the dressing to the greens and then lay it all out pretty nice and nice for you. We have a problem. What's the problem? We have all this product, all this G product lying around the studio. We do. And we have nothing to do with it. Any, uh, you know, solution? I have there? an idea. What? I think we should and how we should give it away. And how would we do that? Free. Free? Free. Free G, giving away free G. I think that people should go to gliving.tv, click on the form, and if they participate in our little G Living community, any questions and answers participate, you're entered into a drawing. What do you think about that? I think it smells pretty good. So we're back, and Vanessa's putting the dressing on. You got some dressing in there. Yeah. And what are you doing now? You're getting your hand all in there. Yep. Good thing with raw foods, you can really get your hands into things. Uh, just kind of massage the vegetables, Good. get everything coated. It's already, you know, shrunk down in size. Yeah. Bok choy really does that because it's really hmm. watery. And do you need a massage license to, to touch no, your bok you choy don't. that way? No, you don't. Yeah, absolutely do not. Okay, good. <laughs> Excellent. And then uh, how do you present this? You so just kind of. It's sort of, I use it as a side dish. Um, or you could just eat if you feel like some greens. Okay. <laughs> just good. whip this up. Great. That is going to be good. And then I'm going to put some sesame seeds on top. Great. Just a little extra dash for presentation, presentation. purposes. Yeah. yeah, presentation. I is think it? you eat more with your eyes than anything yeah. else. Great. Mm. Oh. That's fantastic. Good. And then now, what? Now that you've got this beautiful dish made, and we know it's going to be awesome. What do you serve that with? Do you serve this before something or after something, or can it be a standalone? It can be a standalone. Um, I, I'd serve it with maybe nori rolls or some Asian inspired dish. If you have a pad thai, coconut noodle pad thai, or something mm, like that, mm. it'd be really good. Awesome. Yeah. Great. I'm going to take a little bit of that. Great. <laughs> good. It's a flavor explosion. What else can you ask for? See, eating your greens isn't so bad, mm. is it? Vanessa, thank you so much. This is outstanding. What do you call this again? I call it a sesame garlic greens. As good as advertised. Vanessa, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, great. What's <laughs> we'll the next time? <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> i